We'll continue on here on the Vault topic and address how you can access the layouts and assets within the Vault environment. Switching over to Vault, we'll go ahead and launch the Vault Professional client. This is the desktop application that would be installed on all Vault workstations. From there, we're going to log in to our factory enabled Vault. Once you log in, you will see a typical Vault layout. However, factory enabled Vaults have some differences. When you create the factory enabled vault using the factory configuration file, you'll see that you have a factory asset and factory layout section within the vault browser. These two act very similarly to a inventor content center file or location. They are essentially libraries that contain layouts within the factory layout section and assets within the factory asset section. These ultimately are tied to some physical folders. In my case, I have my factory assets located within this factory assets folder. Earlier in the first section, I identified the location where this can be configured. To configure the factory asset location and layout location, you can name the libraries, and point to a specific directory. The library name is what you will see on the CAD application, and the path is where the files ultimately go within the vault. Accessing the assets from this folder versus this location is essentially the same thing. The factory asset location will obscure the number of files and such from user interaction. Within the factory asset section, you have a single file type representation of the grouping of underlying files. This is to simplify the process and searching around specific assets. In vault terms, the factory assets section is a library location. 